Our final reaction is very different in that it's not something we looked at with alkenes because it's exclusive to alkynes. And in fact, even more importantly, it's exclusive to terminal alkynes. This does not work with internal alkynes. And what it's called is an alkylation. Uh, an alkylation means we're adding carbons. And in this case, we're adding carbons to the triple bond. This will be a two-step process. First, we add a base, and we'll be using either sodium hydride or sodium amide to deprotonate the alkyne CH. And then in a second step, we'll add the organohalide to add its carbon chain. So this is really going to be um, step one, a proton transfer, step two, nucleophilic attack, and loss of leaving group. I'm going to start with acetylene, which is kind of the base alkyne structure. Now, this is a terminal alkyne because we have a CH on the end, but both sides are terminal. This will also work with any alkyne that's terminal. First, I'm going to add the base. And I'm going to use NaNH2. When you see this, break this up. We have Na+. Plus NH2 minus. And the proton on the triple bond is relatively acidic. That means this base can come and take this proton. This is a proton transfer. We end up with a lone pair and a negative charge on the end of that triple bond. If we draw our byproducts, we get NH3 and the sodium cation. Now what you should see is this carbon with a lone pair. That is a really good nucleophile. So now we're ready for step two, where we add an organohalide to add its carbon chain. So let's say I want to add a three carbon chain. If that's the case, I'll add three carbons attached to some halogen, uh, Cl, Br, or I. So I'll just use Br. And in this case, it probably will help you if you number starting at the electrophilic carbon. That's number one. And I'm also going to just highlight it so we can keep track of carbon one. And here is our nucleophilic attack and loss of leaving group. The lone pair on the alkyne will attack this carbon, and you'll lose the bromide as a leaving group. So now I'm going to just draw my alkyne. I'm going to draw the new bond in red. That's attached to carbon 1. Then we have carbon 2, carbon 3. The leaving group is the bromide. It's really easy to lose carbons in this process, so I always encourage you to count your carbons up. We should have two carbons from the alkyne plus three carbons from the organohalide. That means you should end up with five carbons in the product. And we have one, two, three, four, five carbons in the product. We're in good shape. Now, because we still have a terminal alkyne, we could do a second alkylation at this position. Something else that's really important to mention is that NaNH2 is different than sodium and liquid ammonia. They look similar. Those are two different things. The NaNH2, that is a base. The sodium and liquid ammonia is um, an electron source for a dissolving metal reduction. So be careful when you're writing out reagents that you don't confuse those two.